God bless you, everybody, at the sound of my voice. Today's message is a continuation of what we have been learning. It's called Financial Freedom, Part 8. Financial Freedom, Part 8. It's going to be powerful today. Today we are going to learn about some of the Gideon's factors. We are going to learn that today. It's very, very important. I'm going to learn how God sees you and why God sees you like that. Until you see yourself the way God sees you, the struggle is continued. And that is not your portion. Say that struggle is not my portion. I will say that. Let us go to the presence of God in prayer. Father, thank you again. For the privilege you have given it to us to preach your precious word to your precious people. The Bible says the entrance of your word gives light. I pray that the light of the gospel permit home and family right now. Jesus, I lift you up today and I lift you up forever. Your name is powerful. And everyone that the sound of my voice say, I am free. Say that I am free in the name of Jesus. Amen. You are welcome to today's, today's teaching. Financial Freedom Part 8. I'm taking my test from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 and verse 6. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 3 and verse 6 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Listen to this. Who have blessed us. It is say you are going to be blessed. You have already blessed. Who has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Oh, that is powerful. That is powerful. Let me make this statement again until you see yourself. The way God sees you, and you know why God sees you that way, the, the struggle will continue. And that is why you tune in. Struggle is not your portion. Say that with me. Struggle is not my portion. Bible says you are blessed. Say that I am blessed with all spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. That's what God says. Now let's see why God said that. In verse 6, say, Ephesians 1, 6, say, To the praise of the glory of His grace, wherein He has made us accepted. Hallelujah. In Christ, we have already accepted. You say, we are, God make us accepted in the beloved. It's not because you know how to pray or you don't know how to pray. The moment you are born again, we born from the struggle era and the struggle realm to the powerful realm. You born from labor, come on, to, to the, from labor to favor. Say that from labor to favor. Praise the Lord. But today I'm going to go to some of the Gideon's factors. Some of the Gideon's factors. I told you in the previous teaching that Gideon factors and the Joshua factors and Joseph factor regards of about your financial breakthrough. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah until you see yourself the way God sees you. You know, God told Gideon, He said, Go and deliver. Your people from Midianites, they were oppressed for seven years. And God told Gideon, go and deliver them. You know what Gideon says? As I said before, until you see yourself the way God sees you. Are you listening to me? Let's see what Gideon says. 
in Genesis, in Joshua chapter, in Judges chapter 6, verse 12. Judges chapter 6, verse 12. Let's see the reply of Gideon to God. Judges 6, 12. See, and the angels of the Lord appear unto Gideon and said unto him, The Lord is with you, thou mighty man of valor. Listen to what Gideon said. And he said unto him, verse 15, O oh my Lord, where we shall I save Israel? Behold, my family is poor in my last say, and I'm the least in my father's house. Do you see yourself naturally? Listen, God spoke to Gideon. Go and liberate your people. Gideon. Gideon, as I said in the previous teaching, his great, great, great grandfather was Joseph. Are you hearing me? So Gideon was not the part of the original 12. Listen to what he said. He said, I'm the least in my father's house. Gideon began to see himself naturally. Are you like that today? He said, I'm blessed. But you don't know me. I'm blessed. Oh, but look at my father's house. I'm blessed. Nobody ever blessed my father's house before. Is that what you are saying? Hallelujah. Until you see yourself, listen to this, until you see yourself the way God sees you, the struggle continues. And that is not your portion. Struggles is not your portion. Say that struggle is not my portion. No, God told God Joshua, uh, um, um, uh, Gideon, he said, go in your strength. I want to read Judges chapter 6 verse 12 in Amplified Bible to see how God sees Joshua. I'm sorry, to see how God sees uh, Gideon. Judges 6 12, Amplified Bible. And the law and the angels of the law appear unto him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of fearless courage. You see how God says that Gideon, mighty man of fearless courage. By the way, Gideon means warrior. But he not see himself like that. He said, I'm the least of my father's house. See? And from Malasi, who I am. Oh, hallelujah. You'll be listening to me now. I'm blessed. How can I be blessed? You are blessed. Listen to this. Until you change the word of your mouth, the word that you are living in cannot change. Until you change the word of your mouth, the word that you are living in cannot change. And not to change your mind, we call that a new of mind, your words also cannot change. Hallelujah. You listen to me. God says you are blessed. We talk spiritual blessing in heavenly places. Did you say that to yourself? Why you say, well, I'm blessed. Ha! Huh. My take home is not enough to take me home. I'm blessed. I owe too much money. Listen to this. You have to say, just, I am blessed. I'm going places. I'm highly favored. I am justified. I am blood washed. Holy Ghost fee. Turn talker. Devil chaser. You have to speak it out. Hallelujah. In Matthew chapter 12. Let's go to Matthew chapter 12, verse 37. Matthew 12. Verse 37 says, For by your word thou shalt be justified, and by your word thou shalt be condemned. God has blessed you. If you are born again, we are going there today. And if you are not born again, your blessing is waiting for you in Christ. You need money to accomplish your mission. You get uh, wisdom, but without money, nobody will listen to you. That is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 16. Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 16. You can't make impact in your generation. You can't do anything without money. 
And this message is for you because God wants you to enjoy your blessing and to make a difference for the coming generation. Hallelujah. I want to make this statement. Listen, you are not blessed because you have money in the bank. Mm -mm -mm. You are not blessed because you have money in the bank. And you are not poor because you don't have money in the bank. You are blessed because you have a creative idea from God. That's it. Listen to what God says in Deuteronomy, listen, Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18 says, listen to what Bible says. This is so powerful. He said, you need to remember the Lord. It's he that gave you power to get wealth. God don't give wealth, raining sun and sending from heaven, no. But he give you power. The word power, there are many ideas. He gave you ideas. I will read it again. Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 18. Somebody is getting an idea now. I'm telling you. This is your time. The garners of inflation that is going on. The garners of pandemic impact that is going on. I'm talking about your spiritual blessing. It's from the heavenly places in Christ. Deuteronomy 8, 18 says, But thou shalt remember the law that God, this thing, for it is he that giveth the power, the word power, there are me ideas, to get wealth. Listen, that he may establish his covenant, which is sworn unto your father as it is these days. Money with mission. He said, remember God. Praise God, somebody. Are you hearing me? Yes. Unless you see yourself. Did you know when God appeared to Gideon, Listen, Gideon, listen to me, faces the army of Midianites. You know how many of them in numbers? 135,000. Gideon faced 135,000 army of the Midianites. And he got only, listen to them, he got only 32,000. They show one to five. And God said, listen, you have so many. Reduce them now from 32,000 to 10,000. God says, too many. Reduce them to 300 people. 300 army against 135,000. And you know what happened? God said, You are not going to shoot. You are going to blow trumpet. I'm not going to shoot because the battle is not yours. Sometimes you face disease, you face some pay bill. You face financial problems. I'm telling you today, the battle is not yours. It's of the law. Don't, don't speak your situation. Speak from your position. You are a child of God. Hallelujah. Get no argue with God. Say, I can't do that. God said you can't do it. You are going to capture them like a woman. Can you imagine 300 army, Gideon army, against 135,000? The army of Midianites. You study that in Judges chapter 6 and 7. Can you, and God says, as you, are leave, as you are facing them, don't shoot. That's God you serve. You're facing who tempt. You're facing a positive situation. You're facing disease. God sent me to you. You are blessed. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm blessed. Listen to what um, Philippians chapter 4, verse 13 says. Philippians, I don't know what I'm speaking to right now, but this is your time for financial freedom. Say that. This is my time for financial freedom. Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I want to read this one in Amplified Bible. Philippians 4, 13. Amplified Bible says, I have strength for all Things in Christ who empowers me. Listen, I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses inner strength into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's sufficiency. Hallelujah. Is someone say you are a millionaire? No, you are more than that. You are a billionaire? No, you are more than that. 
You are trillionaire. No, you are more than that. Bible says the earth is of the Lord and the fullness thereof. And that God is your father through Jesus Christ. You can do all things. Hallelujah. God will give you ideas. That's why you don't allow any job to take you away from your source. As I said in my previous teaching, if you need cancer, don't go to secular people to teach you how to, how to invest. First of all, they, they will tell you, you go into a church, then you are wasting your time. Call that off. You give in to the work of God, say you are wasting your money. Call that off. That's what I teach you. Someone said that. I teach you. These ungodly people. God is the one. You don't allow anything, any situation, any job to take you away from your source. Because according to Acts chapter 17, verse 28, Acts 17, 28 says, For in him, in the Lord, we live and move and have our being. A certain also of your own possess said, For we are also his offspring. We move, we have our being in Christ. Jesus says in John 15, 5, John 15, 5, I say, without me, you can't do anything. Don't allow the thing of this world to take you away. The Lord, no, you need them. So you need them. Matthew 6, verse 32 and 33. He said, God, no, you need all these things, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. All these things shall be added unto you. Let me give you some practical lesson about financial freedom. Amen. As I said before, you are not blessed because you have money in the bank. It can go in a minute. You trust money can just leave you like that. Huh? And you are not poor because you don't have money in the bank. No. You are God says you are you are blessed because you have a creative idea from God. I know you have it. That's why you are in the, that's why you tune in. But do you know, you know what is called principle 10, 15, 20? If you own mortgage, there's something called principle 10, 15, 20. How you can pay your mortgage without even borrow money in the bank. I will show you, you email me. That's my email address. Or if you are a preacher, you know, do you know what is called? What is called? NCR strategy, NCR is a principle. You call new creation reality. So tools, you don't have to be poor because you are a pastor. You need tools, tools. You need to read so you can lead. Listen, hallelujah. If you are loaded, you are going to be needed. The world is full of problems. But heaven is full of answer. The world is in darkness. But Jesus is the light of the world. Are you listening to me? You email me. And if you are in the marketplace, you are in the marketplace, you are labor force. That's a principle, JDS. JDS. Which means demand job skill. Don't kill yourself. Skill yourself. Are you listening to me? Demand job skill. In this world that's full of hatred and prejudice, you have to skill yourself to, to understand that your skill is going to be needed. People will ask for your expertise. You email me. If you are the one that God is speaking to through me, you email me. You cannot lead if you don't read. Are you listening to me? God wants you to be blessed. Give you ideas. They send me to you. People that use this strategy and principle, they are turning out testimony. And memory are still coming. I will show you what bank uses. Bank use on people's money. Others, people's money. OPM. But it is time. You use principle 10, 15, 20. And you use principle NCR and use principle JDS. I will show you that. Hallelujah. The time of your struggle is over. Jesus said, Occupy 
until I come. You cannot fulfill your mission and, uh, and bring it to fruition without money. Without money. You want to work, work, work. No time to pray. No time for your spouse. No time for your children. You don't have any time. They time for devotion with the Lord. Eh? Jesus said, come on to me and we give you rest. You don't have time for that. It is sometimes work hard, work hard. No, you have to work hard, but you have to work smart. I will show you how money will work for you so you can accomplish your God's giving mission to bring souls into the kingdom, to bring souls, to feed the poor, to empower your generation. And this is financial freedom. I'm expecting to hear from you. It's even me. It's a man of God. I need those principles. If you are in, your mortgage is heavy, I will show you the strategy. They're going to 10, 50, 20. Or if you are a preacher, you burn out. I will show you NCR, new creation reality. Who you are in Christ, who Christ is in you. And what kind of message is relevant to this generation that dying without God? And if you are in the marketplace, you don't have to work, work to the extent you can't serve God. I will show you principle JDS. Demand job skill. This is all I got today. You don't want to miss on Monday. We are going to go to financial freedom part nine. You don't want to miss that. I, give you, I will be giving you some information that will help you so you have time for God. Hallelujah. This is the last day. Are you listening to me? No devil can take you away because Christ is in you. The hope of glory. Rise up and let us go out and bring souls into the kingdom, especially a preacher. I see somebody free. So I'm free. I am free. I am free. In the name of Jesus. Let, let me pray for you. In case you don't know the Lord is dangerous in this last day. You don't want to miss heaven. Say this word after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life and be my Lord and my Savior. That's it. I want to pray for you now. You go through burden of, so you have tension in your family, in your relationship, in your hand, in your home. I come against those stations. Jesus is the answer. Enemy, lose your host right now. The prince of peace is Jesus. I speak peace into your life. Peace into your home. Peace in your relationship. In the name of Jesus, you are free. Somebody say that, I am free. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, if you are anywhere in Rhode Island, our church is God's family church. 1525 Broad Street in Craston, Rhode Island, here in the U.S. Our service every Sunday, 9.30 a.m. Come and join the group of winners. Hallelujah. We are expecting to see you. And anywhere you have viewed this in the whole world, make sure on Sunday you go to Bible Believing Church. Where your new creation reality is going to be taught. You know you are in Christ. You know what Christ has done for you. Don't forget identity precedes activities. Share this message in all your social platform. Share it, like it, love it. And I see you again on Monday in the same place at the same time. Remember, Jesus is love.